trying to think of how to say this. There was a lot at stake with this project. Not only was it a huge client and a huge budget, but also was a little bit of a new platform for us. So taking away the amount of money the company would have made or the client name that we could attach ourselves to, it would have really elevated us in our portfolio to attract more big name clients such as this in the future. Anytime a job comes in that we have to we have to work for, pitch on, and try to get, try to bring in. Um, and I really think about the money. I, I think about what it means to, to everyone else, right? How does it keep things going? Every job that we win means that the whole company is doing a little bit better. When the company does well, we get to hire new people, we get raises. Things happen as a result of getting more jobs. This is a bigger deal than the other things that we've done. And um, for them to be asking us, it, it really felt like, uh, I don't know, I, I guess I felt like I was a little bit out of my league or that we were out of our league. And um, it was only until we started doing research that I discovered that this was a million dollar project. So we're talking about this tech client Okay, and it's a, a million dollar budget. We know that the company that was awarded this project, it was just shy of $900,000. So it wasn't like it was in our imagination, okay? It's a $900,000 award, it was awarded to somebody else, and it was pretty fast and furious. We had a week or so to put the proposal together, and then we found out days later, and whoever got the job also found out days later, and they're moving forward, they're off to the races, and. We could have definitely used this project. Um, it would have helped propel us forward. I don't want to dwell on the negatives. It would have really pushed us forward. Considering that our, our goal for this year is to hit five million, that's 20% of our billings, that could have easily put us far ahead. Let's go through the room and try to pinpoint what we learned. What did we do right? What did we do wrong? And we're going to focus mostly on the wrong because that's where we have room for improvement, okay? We started our conversation with what we did right and I want to condense some of that for you. So here we go. We had a good looking proposal. Never underestimate the value of a well-designed proposal. The client may have seen other work you've done, but this is the first time they're seeing the work you may be doing for them. Make it count. We had a good partner. Oftentimes we're in situations where we don't have the resources in-house to do something. This could be development or it could be a specialist that does a visual effects trick. This is where you need to team up with the best people on the planet. And in this case, we were able to find exactly the right company to do the job. We had a B plus call. If I'm being honest, that's exactly how it grade us. And why was that the case? The clients threw some unexpected curveballs at us and we were caught flat-footed. It's very important when you're doing the call, this is your opportunity to close the deal. This is where you are listening for objections and making sure the clients feel good about the relationship by building rapport, listening intently, and addressing those objections as soon as you hear them. We had a professional presentation. You have to come off as professionals when you present. Know your proposal, know your client inside and out. We met all the deadlines. This one is pretty self-explanatory. When we're hoping to be awarded a job, missing a deadline on the pitch is a huge red flag to the client. It's a deal breaker. We had a budget that was in the zone. We always want to know what the zone is for any project prior to actually putting the proposal together. This is when you employ price bracketing. You want to float some numbers by the client to gauge their level of comfort. And in this case, we were right in the zone. We were responsive. Anytime the client needed something for us or had a question, we were there and we got them the answer they needed in a timely manner. If they know they can trust us, they're much more likely to hire us. I've done reviews like this in the past before, um, you know, in the military or in the army, we have the after action review or things like that where we talk about, you know, what was the mission, did we accomplish it? 
um, three sustains, all that kind of stuff. Um, but we lost this job 